Hey cruisers, welcome back to Vlogtoberfest. Welcome to our live Q&A session tonight. We are here for you from about 30 to 45 minutes to see how many cruise questions we can answer in that short period of time. For those of you who are new to Vlogtober, yay, welcome. We're so happy to have you here. We have a video or a live stream every single day in the month of October. Speaking of that, I wanna let you all know what our schedule is for this week. We're going to be live again this Friday night, so I don't have the date in front of me, but we're going live at 5.45 Pacific time, that's 8.45 Eastern this coming Friday. And in between, every day this week, there'll be new videos for you. Tomorrow, Mr. Cruise Sips TV is at our Royal Caribbean Harmony of the Seas Packing Hits and Misses video. So tomorrow, probably somewhere around 10.45 or 11 a.m. ish, you will see our latest video come out and we're gonna tell you what we did right and what we did not so great on our packing game for our last cruise. So you'll wanna stay tuned for that. All right, you guys, let's get to question answering. We are right down to business tonight. I'm gonna to start with Katie Adamo's question that came in a long time ago. Katie, I hope you're still here. I know you typed this into the pre-chat. She said, going on a cruise for 14 days, what are some must-haves? So Katie, if it were me, it would depend on whether or not the ship had self-serve laundry, but comfortable shoes are a must-have and a really neutral clothing palette, so things that you can mix and match a lot for a 12-day cruise are gonna, be, excuse me, for a 14-day cruise are gonna be great. The longest cruise I've ever been on was 12 days, and we just did laundry a few times. We still went carry-on only, but it was all about the comfy shoes. All right, Gina Reccia said, cruising in the med, booked private tours, but wasn't sure about tipping protocol. So it depends on the country, Gina. What I would recommend that you do is for each country, Google it. Say, um, you know, tour guide tipping in France, tour guide tipping in Italy, and just double check. We definitely gave tips um, on our tours in, uh, in the med, but not as much as we would have in the U.S. All right. China Pearl says, travel insurance company recommendations for pre-existing conditions, thank you. China, I can't really advise on that necessarily. You're gonna need to call and ask for the policy that is best for a pre-existing condition and I would recommend Allianz or AIG would be the two companies that I would um, call. Karina Vasquez says, I love your show and I became a better cruiser because of you. Thank you so much, Karina. That's what we love to hear. That's absolutely what um, keeps us going here at Cruise Tips TV. We love to be of service and that is what we do. Courtney Geringer said, what is your review of the wow bands? For those of you who aren't familiar with what Courtney's talking about, wow bands are the little bracelets that you can get um, on Royal Caribbean that allow you to get into your door and um, order drinks and things like that. I thought they were great, totally worth the five bucks. That's pretty much all they do is open your door and you can order drinks, you can buy things with them, but they're pretty cool and to me it's just nice. I stopped carrying my cruise card around most times because of it, but getting on and off the ship, I still used my regular card. They're great, they're worth five bucks. Courtney Poo said, I'm cruising in 20 days to Montego Bay, Grand Cayman, and Cozumel with Carnival and love some tips on where to buy affordable souvenirs at each place. Courtney Poo, I am not a big shopper in port, so I'm gonna defer to other folks to tell you where you might wanna shop, but in Cozumel, you can shop right off of the cruise port if you want to, and in most of these places, you could probably walk around and shop, but if you want good deals, you're probably gonna wanna go to a downtown area, but let's see what everybody has to say. The Very Lazy Traveler said, would you chance a guarantee cabin on Princess Cruise Line to the Bahamas? It's the only option you have to book. 100% yes, I would chance it, especially if it's your only option. Just go for it, take the risk, you should be fine. Tupper Sam said, hi, I have PTSD and crowds freak me out as I'm going to have problems, especially at embarkment. What was the question though? Oh, am I going to have problems, especially at embarkment? I'm sorry, Tupper Sam K. I did not read that right the first time. The mustard drill, depending on um, how you do with crowds and loud sounds, the mustard drill can be disturbing to some people in your situation. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to guest services and ask them if they do have um, a special situation that you can attend for muster. Most of the time they will accommodate that. They have special sessions for people who are um, disabled and can't get to their muster stations and they also accommodate people with autism that have sensory issues with loud noise and things like that. So you might wanna just ask them once you get there. Peggy said, when do cruises for 21, 2021 come out? Peggy, they're starting to come out now. Between now and November, you're gonna start to see a lot more. 
May for Pino said, do you think a Symphony of the Seas cruise is worth it, even if it's just for three to four nights to Nassau and Coco Key? You look lovely, Sherry. Oh, thank you, May for Pino. Um, yeah, I totally think it's worth it. Um, I'm hearing that it's a fun ship. It'll be a very, very, it's probably not gonna be a very relaxing cruise, but I think it would be a ton of fun just to get to Coco Key. If there's any way you can get on a seven nighter, try to do that for us, that'd be great. I'm all caught up with what you got on the screen, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. DM, this blouse is from Stitch Fix, which is a clothing subscription service that I, I use a lot. My new favorite clothing service though is Fashion. Fashion is much more inexpensive, so I'm actually gonna try to find my referral link for you. If you ask for off the shoulder tops and resort wear when you ask for your box um, at Fashion, they can accommodate you and I have a $10 discount code that I will put in the chat if I can just find it for you really quickly here. Um, yeah, it's coming at you. One second here. Okay, there we go. Can't type and talk at the same time, guys, sorry. Okay, there it is, all right. Okie dokie, Becky Vanneman, hi Becky. She said, do you need immunizations um, shots for a Panama Canal cruise, San Francisco to Fort Lauderdale? No, Becky, you do not need immunizations for those ports unless you're doing something crazy in like Columbia or one of those areas, but no, you don't. You should be just fine. All right, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Yeah, it's coming in. The questions are coming in fast. He's trying to stay caught up. Um, and so we're, we're getting there guys. Thanks for your patience. Ashley Soros Rex says going on a 12 day Panama Canal cruise over Halloween day of the dead in 20 days. Anyone know if you should pack costumes for Halloween parties? Um, with Norwegian, I probably would, but maybe pack something kind of lightweight. I think that they do something on Norwegian and I think Carnival does it too. Daisy Roman said, did they happen to warm the Oasis Lagoon pool water since we have gone? You know what, Daisy Roman, I didn't get in the pool, but nobody was complaining about it on our cruise. Um, Rich F said, do you prefer to book your own airfare or let the cruise line book for you? Okay, Rich, that's a trick question because I don't want the cruise line to book it for me but I do, I do love it when a cruise line offers an air product. For example, um, Princess's Easy Air and Royal Caribbean's Air to Sea allow you to choose and book your own air. I don't like the type where they book it for you though. That makes me very uncomfortable. I would do it if I had to, like if it was part of a free air perk, but otherwise I like the hybrid notion where you get all the guarantees and you book through their website um, and you pay less because they are really wholesale, you guys. I've had two experiences with this now where I priced it out and I paid less booking on the cruise line website, but I don't like them booking it for me. Diana D82 said, hello, going on Royal Caribbean soon. Do you have any advice for photo packages? Are prices lower pre-cruise? My understanding is they don't change the photo packages. Personally, I'm probably not gonna get a photo package ever again. We did it once and I feel like the pictures are still sitting in a drawer and I just feel bad about it but I think they're great if you're going to frame things and use them. All right, um, Sarah Jane Bohm said, do you have a preference when booking a cruise for mid after forward? Personally, I like aft cabins because a lot of the things that I generally like to do on some of my favorite ships are toward the back, but if you want stability, go midship. The front of the ship tends to be the most rocky and the, post, the most far away from all the conveniences. So for me, it's usually aft or mid-ish. I've done a lot of forward cabins to save money though, I'm telling you. Jess Gordon said, my mom and I are going on our first carnival cruise on Mardi Gras after sailing on six Royal Caribbean ships. What's the difference between carnival and Royal Caribbean? Oh, uh, there, there's a lot of similarities. It depends on which Royal Caribbean ships you've been on. If, you're, if you've been on Oasis class ships, you're gonna find carnival to be more simple, but if you haven't, you're actually gonna find the product to be relatively similar. Um, a few, depending, you know, it's Mardi Gras is gonna have a lot of options, so, you're probably gonna find that there's a little more focus on looking out towards the sea on a carnival ship and Royal Caribbean ships are built a little bit more with the promenade concept, promenade concept where they're facing inward, but hard to say and just depends on your tastes. Bridget Gale said, in the Caribbean, is there a recommended percentage? Oh, you must be talking about tipping. Um, I, I don't know about that. I would say 10 to 15% is probably okay, but tipping is a very personal decision, Bridget, so you do what you wanna do. I'd say we do 10 to 20, depending on the level of service, how many other people are on the tour, how much effort they put into it, if they, you know, if they didn't go out of their way to do anything and it was a really short tour, well, we'll take that into consideration. 
Ms. Mary said, what was the service you used in Port Canaveral to get to the airport, to hotel, to cruise port? Ms. Mary, it was goport.com, also known as Go Port Canaveral, and it was wonderful. May for Pino, already got that question, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. I'm ready for... Um, I'm ready for Ethan's question. Let me check and see for you, Ethan, if Wow Band is on Liberty of the Seas. I'm actually Googling it because I don't know. Let's see if we can find it. Um, no, I don't think it is. Wow Bands are only available on select ships. Right now they're available on Symphony, Harmony, Ovation, Anthem, Quantum, and Spectrum. So that's the only places you can get Wow Bands. I'm sorry about that, Ethan. Amy Sharp said, if you prepay for excursions, et cetera, on the cruise personalizer and have to refare or heaven forbid cancel, are they transferable or non-refundable? Um, yes, up to a certain point, Amy. Up to a certain point, they are cancelable or refundable. Nancy Allen said, my husband wants to know the best place to get vests for formal night. He loves that suggestion. Macy's and Amazon, Nancy. That's where we got ours. Macy's and Amazon. Caitlin Hughes said, apart from it being freestyle cruising, what did you think is what do you think are the best things about Norwegian? Anything you should do or try as a as a first time NCL cruiser? Caitlin, my preferences on NCL are to enjoy as much specialty dining as you can. That to me sets it apart. If you don't want to dress up ever, you don't have to dress up ever. I think that's wonderful. There's a lot of flexibility there. So that would be my my preference. Okay, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, can you put put Jess's question to the top for me? I'm done with Caitlin and Nancy's. Jess said, which of Carnival's Wi-Fi plans support iMessage? I would think that their premium one there's, um, might. Uh, actually, I don't know if you'd want to use, can you use iMessage on any of Carnival's plans? Maybe even the social plan. I'm not sure about that, actually. It has to have access to Apple server, so maybe none of them. Yeah? So, I got lipstick issues, dog? <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Team Bradley said, I'm looking for a new camera for the cruise, leaning towards GoPro 8. Thoughts for Mr. Cruise Tips TV? Well, poor Mr. Cruise Tips TV, Team Bradley has now lost his voice. So he's not talking into the mic tonight. The GoPro 8 is great. Um, we just recommended a bundle, an 8 bundle to someone. You're going to try to talk? Okay, go ahead, babe. Okay. The 8 okay. actually comes out ships uh, for availability on the, on the 15th of this month. Okay. Depending on where you are, of course. Um, I would recommend getting it if you have anything prior to the 7. I think the um, 7 is going to still be pretty strong, but if it's your first one, I say definitely go for it. I'm going to go ahead and get another one, and I have, you know, all the way <clears throat> up from the 3. Um, they, they aren't getting as, they aren't taking as big steps, in my opinion, but I think the 8 is a pretty good, is going to be a pretty good product. Yeah. Okay, cool. I already answered May first question, so I'm going into the chat and grabbing some. Commenter said, have you tried out Royal Caribbean's The Key program? No, we opted not to. We didn't really see any value in it for ourselves, and we'd already invested in a lot of packages. So we opted not to get The Key, and I'm glad we didn't because we didn't need it. Everything moved so quickly. We never had lines anywhere. I'm sure there are some perks, but for $90 extra per day for the three of us, not worth it, sadly. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um... I think that Marvin Moss is saying, anyone have suggestions for parking in Miami? Wife has a mobility scooter and some shuttles have been a problem. Any specific good ones for uh, mobility impaired? Marvin, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get everybody to weigh in on that. Victoria said, what should I do in Ocho Rios, Jamaica on Carnival Horizon in 2020? Victoria, we loved um, going to the Blue Hole and doing a rafting tour. So just search the cool Blue Hole in Jamaica and see what you think. Uh, the very la lazy travelers. Thank you for the super chat. When do you think you'll have a CTTV group cruise? Pretty please. When we get to 100,000 subscribers, we're going to start talking about it. So we're at 78,000 right now. We got 22,000 more to go, but we will we will honor our promise. We will. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, somebody said, what do you recommend for a first time cruiser being on Carnival Pride? It's a kind of a general question for me. I would say just have a blast, enjoy all that the ship has to offer, go to the sail away party and, you know, have a good time. But it's a general question. So I'm just going to leave it at that. All right. 
Okay, Diamond Nicole said, on a scale of one to 10, how scary was Daredevil's Peak? And did you do the drop slide? Surprised my boyfriend with Navigator in May. Um, for $100 price quotes, I'll be a Daredevil LOL and he'll be writing everyone. Okay, Daredevil's Peak water slides to me are not scary at all. The top one isn't scary. It's the hike to the top that'll get you. It was intense. And if you guys want to hear more about my experience with Daredevil's Peak, I am going to be on Matt's podcast from Royal Caribbean Blog tomorrow with another review of Harmony of the Seas. And I talk all about that water slide. Yes, I did the drop slide. It was very, very scary for me. I didn't like the weightlessness. My favorite slide at Coco Key was the slingshot, the family raft slide. Loved it. But um, the water slides are all Awesome Blossom. Loved them all. Okay. Um, no, Isabel, we didn't use our hotspot thingy on the cruise because we both had Voom and it was, was working pretty well. So we didn't need it. Okay. Um, Sarah Jane Bohm said, um, you've mentioned baby powder a few times as an essential item. What do you use it for? Getting sand off of our feet, Sarah Jane. Um, also it helps with like chafing. So if you're like, if you need a little bit of baby powder, say that you're really sweaty and your shorts are like sticking together, you can put it on your legs a little bit. Or if you're just, if you just want to freshen up, it's nice. It's kind of TMI, but you know, it's true. Okay. Krishna planning for parasailing during port days. Do you suggest in Costa Maya or Cozumel? Um, I would say either one of them would be perfectly fine. Maybe Costa Maya would be my preference. Go enjoy the beautiful beaches in Cozumel and in Costa Maya, get up and enjoy that. That would be my guess. Ariana said, going on a 15 day cruise, full transit through the Panama Canal, ending in LA, renting a car, driving to San Diego to tour potential law school. Any tips for San Diego? Yes, Ariana. Um, San Diego is my hometown. It's a ton of fun. There's so much to do and San Diego is so beautiful big. The waterfront is beautiful down there. The harbor, Seaport Village, actually the area kind of down by the cruise ship is really fun. Go to Old Town, eat Mexican food. If you're into the zoo and SeaWorld, there's always those options for you, as well as the Wild Animal Park that's kind of far up north. But go visit the coast. Go to the Gas Lamp District downtown. Enjoy all of that. Okay, Michelle RD needs some affordable hotels in Vancouver, BC before and after cruise. Can anybody help Michelle with that, guys? I do not have an answer to that one, to be honest. I'm sorry about that. Isabel Voom is Royal Caribbean's internet. It was, um, it was great. It was fast. It wasn't super duper fast if you were to check your speed checker, but it got the job done. Okay, Lindsay Wise wants to know what type of camera, like a GoPro or similar, that is 12-year-old friendly and inexpensive. Do, what's your little alternative to a GoPro, babe? E Y I, Y I the Yi Y I. Check that camera, Lindsay. Eugene Taylor said, "Gene from South Carolina here. Met you at Coco. Gene, O M G, it's Gene, my main man from our YouTube. Gene made a cameo. You guys, O M G, I'm so happy to see you. So you guys." You need to go back and watch our Perfect Day Coco Key live stream where it says live from Perfect Day. Gene and his buddy popped in and helped me open the show. It's, I'm so glad you got in touch with me. I was like, where's Gene? Like, I didn't get a message from you yet and I was starting to worry. Hi, so happy. Okay, Lisa, Lisa Stone said, are they back up to sailing to Puerto Rico on Royal? As far as I know, yes. Captain's Table MDR said, Hi, Sherry. Have you ever purchased any bamboo bedding or products from Caraloha while in port? You've always been tempted to. No, I haven't. But I would love to try those. I've heard they're great. That's a great idea. And, you know, it's like, you gotta love port shopping, right? Dorothy Rainier said, Have you heard about Royal's new ship, Odyssey? It set sail in November 2020. When do you suggest to book for it? I would suggest if you're interested, Dorothy, book as soon as possible. With Royal Caribbean, if you want your stateroom choice, I think that's always a really good idea. Get it done. Okay, um, let's see here. May for Pino's question, I'm ready for it. You okay? Okay. Boy, you guys, there's a lot of questions today. Bear with us. Um, I'm from Honduras and we don't have a travel agency, Royal Caribbean here, any online site where I can safely reserve, reserve and plan my cruise. I'm not sure how that works, May for Pino. I just don't know. Um, I think you'd have to check with a travel agent in your country and ask them, okay? Katie Adamo said, do you know if NCL has a chat feature in the app like Carnival? I know, Katie, that they're pioneering a new app, but I'm not sure if they have the chat feature. Go onto the FAQ section of their website and they'll tell you if they do. 
Courtney Poo said, how does chat work on Carnival Hub app? Once you buy it, can you message anyone on the ship that's using the app? Also, yes, as long as both of you buy it, you can. You do not need to buy an internet package to use it. And then you just add each other as friends and you're good to go. Victoria said, what should I do? And Grand came in. Victoria, if you haven't done it yet, I would definitely recommend swimming with the stingrays at least once in your life. Definitely do that. Okay. Um, Debbie said, if you don't like the ruins, would you stay on the ship and Progresso? Maybe. I've heard that that's a pretty popular thing to do there, but let's let other folks who've been to Progresso weigh in in there. Oh, Stevie's just off MSC Seaside. It was different and huge. Tell us more, Stevie. We'd love to hear. Okay. Jess, I don't know if the premium Wi-Fi supports iMessage. I hope it does, but I'm not sure. Um, Courtney said, was there a white party on your ship? Which ship, Courtney? There was a white party there. I don't know if there was one on Royal Caribbean. I didn't see it. We just, there was, we never saw everything that there was to do, but um, there was on MSC, Maravilia and Seaside for sure. Um, n let's see here. Noemi said, will you guys be talking about the next cruise process on board Royal Caribbean? Noemi, that's a good idea. I'll put it in the queue of things to try to make an episode about. Thank you for that suggestion. Um, yes, Tupper Sam, he wants to know an update on Freeport. Some ships are being allowed to go back. I don't know exactly which ones, but they are slowly making their way back to Freeport. Okay. Courtney, thanks for the reminder about the thumbs up. Appreciate it. Okay. Courtney Poo said, um, any all-inclusive resorts like Mr. Sancho's in Cozumel because they are all booked for your cruise? Courtney, they're all booked. So Mr. Sancho's, Nachi Cacom, um, Paradise Beach, um, Paradise Beach is not, I don't think it requires reservations and it's, it's all a cart pricing. And then there's also Chonkanob, which is like the reef. And then there's Playa Mia. Try those. Okay. Joe, thank you very much for the super chat. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Kay Redmond said, I just booked diamond Hong Kong to Tokyo. I'm planning on binging your videos, but do you have a must do? Oh my goodness. That cruise is so good. It just depends on where you're going. Um, and what ports you're going to, I don't know what you're doing, but some of our favorite things were visiting, um, Kyoto by way of Osaka. It's a long journey, but definitely go to Kyoto. If you visit Osaka, um, just enjoy the Japanese culture. You're going to have a ton of fun and let me know what ports you're going in later. Send me a direct message on Facebook so I can help you. Okay. Um, King Lost said, what should I do in Cosmo if I don't have much money, but still do something off the boat? You can just walk around King Lost. You can just walk around the port complex there, or you can take a taxi cab to the beach. Just ask a taxi cab driver to take you to the beach. It's probably 12 bucks one way and just enjoy a nice day at the beach. Um, Bridget wants to know if you've tested the DJI Osmo action. What'd you think? Good. Thumbs up, Bridget. Really good. Karen Thompson said, going on Seaside Yacht Club in 2020, any thoughts? Yeah, Karen, my thoughts are I'm super, super duper jealous. Amazing. I was just telling my husband the other day, I could use a Yacht Club cruise right about now. It's so good. Enjoy the service of your staff. Enjoy the food. Um, our friend Sharon, who went on the Seaside Yacht Club, said, ask if you have any special requests in the dining room, too. They might help you out with that. Okay. Um, Bridget, I liked the water shoes. They were worth the cost, but we didn't have the right ports for them this time because we were in sandy ports. We didn't really need them. There was no rocks, but they were great. Okay. Um, no, Sarah, I haven't been on Navigator of the Seas, but go listen to Matt at Royal Caribbean blog, follow his website and his podcast. There's lots of stuff on Navigator over there. Okay. Ginger said, what is something you'd suggest at Cozumel that is not a beach day? A food tour, going downtown and going to restaurants is great. There's so many things. A Jeep tour um, could be really fun. Rent a Jeep, rent a car. Um, but if it was me, I think I'd try to do some kind of a food tour. It'd be a ton of fun. Okay. Good job, Mr. Chris. You catching up? No, Danielle um, Jr. didn't end up hanging out in Adventure Ocean. He was just busy with us doing other things. He just wasn't, he just didn't really want to go. Um, there were a massive amount of children on our cruise, massive amount of kids. I thought it was going to be like back to school, but they were all on fall break. So there was a lot of kids. Okay. Hi, wild daisies. Welcome. All right. So yeah, a lot of you are saying you loved MSC Seaside. Um, Susan said between going to Bermuda or Bahamas from NYC and New Jersey, July, which to choose? Definitely for me, I would probably choose Bermuda unless there's something in the Bahamas that you really want to do, but I would. 
Tori Girl 89 going to Mexican Riviera March 2020 on Oosterdam. Oosterdam, any fun excursions in PV or Mazatlan? Um, I have heard about a really cool turtle tour that's going on in Mazatlan. In Mazatlan, Stone Island, Deer Island, or just go to one of the resorts and try to get a day pass for the day, like El Cid Marina Beach. Um, in PV, we love Los Veranos Canopy Tour. In Cabo, I don't know if you're going to Cabo. I don't think you are, but we like Cabo Sailing, going to Madonna Beach for the day, things like that. Um, uh, Nick wants to know, what do you think of the new GoPro? Are you into it? Yeah, he's getting it. How's that for an answer, Nick? Um, yes, Angelique, the taxi ride from Cosmo to Nachi was 18 each way for all of us. And thank you very much for the kind words. I really appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. Um, Marvin, I don't have comparisons between Seaside and Davina because I haven't been on them. Kelly, great suggestion for Puerto Vallarta to go tequila um, tasting. Let's see. James said, we live in Jacksonville. Would you drive or fly to Miami? I would probably, I would drive if I could, James. Um, I think, what are you, three or four hours away? Maybe, maybe more. I would probably drive it. Probably save you a lot of money. Okay. What's that? Too many GoPro questions, huh? What's up? Okay. Um, yes, Joe, in San Diego, visit Hotel Coronado. So whomever said they were going to San Diego, that is an excellent tip. Excellent tip. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to steal that one. All right, guys, I'm just taking a deep breath. Okay. Um, Diamond Nicole, you will not feel alone on Royal Caribbean. You'll be fine. There's, there's a lot of activity on Carnival and Royal Caribbean in my experience. Okay. Yes, Mike, Carnival is generally on point with gluten-free, but you need to communicate with the head waiter on night one. I already answered, um, commenter, uh, the Royal Caribbean Key Program already answered that question. No, we did not, and we didn't feel like we needed it. Answered it before. Um, CT said, any suggestions for Ensenada excursions? CT, I would say go to La Bufadora, the blowhole, maybe horseback riding, or go to wine country for the day, or stay on the ship. Um, Curacao, Barbara, I haven't been to Curacao. Let's see if everybody else can um, weigh in a little bit. Renee, we'll be announcing our next cruise very soon. And you are warm. Celeste Zara said, we are going to Hawaii in February for 15 days on Star Princess. Any suggestions? Oh, those sea days, Celeste. You're going to be loving life. Unwind, relax, buy some books to read on the five sea days over and the five sea days back. Mike and Cheryl, didn't you guys do that um, cruise? Didn't you love it? I would definitely recommend doing excursions while you're over there as well, but you're going to just have so much fun. It's a very special ship to us. We love the staff and the crew. Um, try some specialty dining and just enjoy. It's going to be great. Okay. Um, Marlena Bauer, I love this question so much. Um, do you pick up your sunscreen after you fly to port since you fly carry-on only? And the answer is yes, we do. Okay, Captain's Table MDR said, will you be sailing again on Maravilla when it returns to the Caribbean to see their private Ocean Key Marine Reserve? I hope to. They're having a media event where they're taking media out to MSC Ocean Reserve. I could not make it to that event. It's real close to a holiday, but I hope to get out there to see the island and get back on Maravilla. I would just love to do that. I love that ship so much. So special. Okay. All right, I've got all of those taken care of, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, all caught up with those particular ones. Um, Jess Gordon, we're going to do a video on Cozumel excursions this month for you, but we love the beach clubs, Nachi Kakom. You must make reservations at that beach club. Um, um, Mr. Sancho's, Paradise Beach, Playa Mia, all those great places. Rebecca, best beaches in Aruba. Let's help Rebecca, guys, with the best beaches in Aruba. She needs some help. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I already answered that one from Diamond Nicole. I'm so sorry, pal. I skipped ahead when there was a little downtime. Okay. Ethan O'Neill said, did y'all have any themed parties on Harmony of the Seas? I was looking for my cruise compasses. I think they did, Ethan, but we slept through them. Um, I never made it up that late, and I honestly didn't even look. There was so much to do, but I think that there are. Look at the cruise compasses over at royalcaribbeanblog.com for Harmony of the Seas, and you could see them there. Okay. All right. Some suggestions coming in on Curacao. Thank you all for doing that in the, um, 
the chat. Bridget said, did you see that Royal is doing a night at Perfect Day at Coco Key? Would you do it or it would be too much time? You can never have too much time at Coco Key. Never too much time. I would love it. Um, Lindsay said, any preference between Carnival Vista and Carnival Freedom? Lindsay, I haven't been on either ship, but I've heard they're both great in their own way. Those are both favorites of the fleet. People who love Freedom, love Freedom. People who love a larger ship experience like Vista, they love Vista. But I haven't been on either of them, so I think you're probably going to have to kind of ask other folks. Okay, no Jane Smith. We haven't done an Australia, New Zealand itinerary on a cruise. I visited Australia and New Zealand when I was 16 with my family for a month and I loved it, so we definitely wanna go back. And yes, Stevie, I get the joke. Vanky, 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 right? It's so good, huh? So good. Okay, guys, our friend and artist who made this beautiful little painting down here, April is in the chat and she said, go to Palm Beach in Aruba. Thank you, April, appreciate it. Okay, already got that one from Susan too. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is ask you if I've missed your question and you're still in the chat, you don't want them to read to type it? Not yet? No, you've got too many more? Okay. Poor Mr. Cruise Tips TV, guys, having a hard time keeping up. Natka, I think the solarium pools are heated. Okay, already got Tor Tory Girls too, I'm so sorry. I jumped ahead. <laughs> Karen, you're so funny. Um, all right. Already got that one too. Sorry from Danielle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. That's going to be fun, Jane. 103 days to your cruise. I love it. Um, Joselle, we are looking at the Pacific Islands, but we've never been. Um, okay. Daisy Roman, special requests at the bars, you can't have sugar. Yeah, you could always make special requests at the bars, order a vodka and soda, things like that, no problem. You should be able to do that without any issues at all. Cool. Gina, we have been to Alaska, it's awesome, several times. Okay, yep, already got Mike O'Brien's gluten-free question too, we're good there. Julia, are we planning Hawaii soon? No, it's not really on the agenda, but we'd love to do it. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's, it's not on the list right now, but hopefully we will. It's in the, it's on the dream list. Bill, whale watching in Alaska, you might want to do Juno. I think Juno has great whale watching. There are other options too, but most people say they like Juno. Okay. <laughs> oh, April, you're cracking me up. All right, Daryl, pool chair availability was okay on sea days. There were some chair hogs for sure. I saw some chair hogs, but not too, too much. Okay, Katerin, we don't really have a favorite cruise ship. We've been on so many. We like them all for different reasons. Okay. Um, the Very Lazy Travelers, I don't have any videos of St. Martin Plains landing, but that sounds like a fun goal. We were going to get videos of that. Emma sneeze. <coughs> so you guys got me coughing on Friday night and sneezing today. Okay. Let's see. Muzzle loader. Any tips for celebrity, celebrity eclipse and things to do in Santa Barbara? Yes, muzzle loader. I have lots of tips for you for Santa Barbara. The wonderful thing about Santa Barbara is that it's a very walkable port town. So right when you get off, you're going to be tendering ashore in Santa Barbara. And you can just walk along the waterfront if you wanted to enjoy that. You can go to the wharf, enjoy restaurants out on the wharf for the day. Or if you can take a tour up to wine country, there's wonderful wineries in Santa Barbara County. Highly recommend excursions like that. There's also one of those um, amphibious vehicles called the Whale Shark in Santa Barbara that's a ton of fun. Um, the Santa Barbara Zoo is fantastic and the Funk Zone is fantastic. And we have an old video on just that topic. The land shark, what did I call it? The whale shark? Did I call it the whale shark? It's the land shark. All right. Yeah, Joselle, we've never been to the Pacific Islands, but we sure hope to soon. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead, Mr. Crucips TV, I'm gonna go to the bottom and I'm gonna answer questions from the top and we're just, that's what we're gonna do. So, Jeannie, I've never done the sea, well, actually we have done a sea trek in Hawaii. It was okay. It was on like a little motorized thing. It's not really my jam. I don't really like the, um, the uh, helmets. John B, yes, I did find the secret exit on deck seven, and I think I forgot to put it in my Instagram stories. So John, I'll try to go back in and put it in my Instagram stories, but I filmed it, it's really cool. It's not really secret, it's like you just walk to the back of deck seven, and you walk out, and you're right by the rock climbing wall. It's pretty cool, though. Okay. 
Um, Joselle said, what happens when there is a typhoon or storm on the sea during the cruise? Joselle, they reroute you. So they will take you out of the, the um, eye of the storm into safer ports. Okay. Um, curious Coyote, do you bring your own beach towels when you go to beach clubs? We take You take the ones off the ship, but don't pack your own beach towels on a cruise because it's pre pretty inconvenient to wash them on a cruise, and that's no fun. Yeah, Jane, the funk zone is great. It's lots of wine tasting and stuff, so it's good. Stevie, I'm so sorry you ended up getting sick. I heard a lot of people got sick on our Harmony of the Seas cruise, too. Lots of colds. Okay, Juliana Godchild said, how can I let NCL know that we're cruising to celebrate a birthday? I heard there's a benefit there. You should be able to do it when you're um, making your arrangements on their website and registering yourself. You should be able to register your special occasion there. Sarah Jane Bohm said, any tips for eating from a buffet that is self-serve in terms of cleanliness? Yeah, for me personally, I don't like the handles. They really gross me out. So I take alcohol hand sanitizing wipes and I wipe my hands after I use them. Sometimes I'll even take the wipe and grab the handle with it and scoop. That's all I can really offer you, my friend. Lena, we think that the best cruise line for Alaska are Holland America and Princess. We think that they do Alaska beautifully, but if you have another cruise line that you sail with all the time and they go to Alaska, they're probably doing it really well too. Alice said, how does the Shipmate app work? Alice, it does a lot of different things. The Shipmate app has just a ton of different features. I'm gonna pull it up right now and tell you about a couple of them. One of the things you can do in Shipmate that people like to do is they like to set a roll call for their cruise. So you enter your cruise in and then it tells you how many days you have. And then you get to go into that particular cruise and you can chat with other cruisers, research your excursions, research your ports, look at photos of people who have been on that ship or people who have uploaded photos <clears throat> from that particular ship. It's really cool. Um, Natka said, any plan for Virgin Voyages? Maybe. We don't have it booked or anything, but the problem is we couldn't take Junior, so it wouldn't be top priority, but maybe. You never know. Um, okay, Jess said, what do you think will be the difference between the highest ship class for Carnival and Royal Caribbean's Oasis class? Mm, Jess, what do I think would be the difference? I mean, it's just a different product. It's a different brand, um, but in terms of like actual opportunities to do things a lot they're going to be a lot of the same carnival is more of a budget cruise line a little bit more of a budget cruise line so it's probably gonna be a little bit less expensive perhaps than royal caribbean but it's just too hard to compare them right next to each other it would take all night to say well this ship has that and this ship doesn't and things like that um, even the largest carnival ships are not as big as the largest oasis class ships i would say that for sure liz said when you were on MSC Maravilia. Do you know if Cirque du Soleil was free or was there a fee? It is for a fee, dinner and a show, or just a drink and a show, always for a fee. Um, okay, let's see. And Liz wants to know what tour operator we used for the Blue Hole in Jamaica. We used Pete Taylor Tours, but Pete is spelled P-E-A-T. P-E-A-T Taylor Tours. Brian said, how hard is it to get a job on a cruise ship? Brian, I can't answer that. I'm not an expert in that area, but go to a website called Get a Life at Sea. She's an awesome coach for getting a job on a cruise ship and she can help you out. Peter Lee said, one day to go before we fly out from Perth to Venice for a 21-day cruise to the Maldives. How many formal nights did you have on your med cruise? Would Costa be similar? We had two formal nights on our med cruise um, for a 21-day cruise to the Maldives on Costa, I'm just not sure. I'm not familiar with Costa's formal night policy, but I would think there'd be more than two, Peter. Check on their website in the FAQ section and have a blast and send me pictures. I'm jealous. Jeannie McKee said, have you ever done the Sea Trek diving? Oh, we already did that. Um, Jeannie, I haven't done the Sea Trek. Sorry about that. Never. We've done one, but we haven't done the one where you walk. We did the motorized thing, so... Someone asked me if I liked the lounge at Orlando Airport, and yes, I loved the lounge. We have recently got a new credit card that has Priority Pass access, and it was fabulous. Okay. Joe Mock said, have you ever done Friday Island near Seattle? No, Joe, I haven't done it, and I've never even heard of it, but that sounds really, really cool. Um, cruising Mimi, where would we want to go for a group cruise? Probably the Caribbean or the Mexican Riviera would be good. We want to keep it low cost when we do something like that and accessible to people. So probably one of those two locations would be, um, would be the top two. Maureen Ring said, can you find out ahead of time what will be included at the buffet for dinner on Princess? Sometimes, Maureen, they do put a menu outside that has the food. Sometimes, but you could also ask the head waiter. All right. 
Cool. Yeah. Kurt and Shailene, good tip. Thank you for weighing in, you guys. They said, go listen to Behind the Crew Door podcast. Good stuff. Oh, I want to add that to my rotation. Thank you so much for that. That's so cool. Um, oh my goodness. Daryl Buford said, how was Royal Caribbean's embarkation and disembarkation process in Port Canaveral? Flawless, fastest ever, phenomenal, speedy. We never sat down. It was great. Um, captain's table. How does Mr. Cruise Tips TV like the new cameras on the iPhone 11 pro? Will be upgrading. Will he be upgrading? Oh, welcome to our family conversation for the last four days. So we want to, but we're on stupid AT&T next where you have that contract. Do you like my attitude? I have a bad attitude about AT&T next because I feel trapped in it and we're not ready for upgrades yet. And he wants the 11 really badly because we want those cameras. And for us, those cameras are like our livelihood, right? So um, we would have to pay $500 to get him out of the contract and to upgrade early. So I think we're going to wait a few more months and see how it goes. But yeah, Arr, grumpy about that. Ethan said, Royal Caribbean, Liberty of the Seas, end of January, going to Cozumel, Georgetown, Cayman, Grand Cayman, any suggestions? Yeah, I, don't, I, I think I already answered this one before, Ethan. I'm not sure. It might be that you've got the same question as someone else. Um, but yeah, in... Cozumel, we love the beach clubs. Grand Cayman, we love swimming with stingrays. And I can't remember your other port and the question's gone, I'm sorry. Natasha said, are there taxis right at the dock to take people to Nachi Kakom? Yes, Natasha, they are. But right at the dock is subjective. Depending on which dock you're, out, you're at in Cozumel, it's a bit of a walk. So you have to get through like the security area and then follow the signs to the taxis. If you don't see a sign, just ask somebody. Um, Katie Adamo said, how many formal nights for 14 days? Usually it's two to three, Katie, but that depends on the cruise line. Really depends on the cruise line. Okay. All right, guys, a few more questions. I'm starting to feel a little bit um, like I'm going to lose the voice again, so I'm going to have to cut out soon here. But if I've missed your question, I'm going to get to a few more, but if I've missed it, remember you can send me a direct message over on Facebook at our Cruise Tips TV Facebook page, and I'll respond to you. Mel said, my parents are cruising Maravilia out of New York, October 18. I would go with them if I didn't have military obligations. What tip should I give them before they go? On Maravilia, what tip should you give them? Um, try the specialty dining. That's a good tip for Maravilia. Try the coffee and chocolate shop. That's another good one. I would also, if they're early risers, tell them to get up and just go roam the ship in the early morning hours. It's virtually empty and it's absolutely spectacular. Also tell them to go to the dome shows at night where they can see shows on the LED dome. Okay. All right. Um, China, that's a great question about what to do in Ensenada for lobster. I don't know the answer. I would ask a local um, when you get off the ship and see. Um, Tesla said, what are some good credit cards that you have good cruise perks? I don't really use credit cards that you have cruise perks, but very soon we're going to be adding a credit card section to our website because we're learning more about this. So we've partnered with creditcards.com to put some categories up on our website that, um, will direct you to certain types of cards that you're interested in. So best for travel, best for balance transfer, um, best for cash back. And that's coming in the next few months from us. So stay tuned. I can tell you, I have the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, hefty annual fee, but an excellent travel credit, priority pass access, travel insurance, so many good things. Courtney Poo, you should be able to get a table with friends. The way you do it is on day one, you need to go to the maitre d' in the dining room. They'll have like office hours. Look in your, um, your cruise planner and not your planner, your newsletter and go and show up and tell them what you need. I don't know, Debbie, if the Carnival Cruise credit card is good. Thank you, Daisy, for the kind words about our podcast. If you're not familiar, guys, it's Cruise Tips TV Unplugged everywhere you listen. All right. Don and Jimbo Pickett, yes, your port fees will be included, included in your cruise price, your total cruise price. You will not pay for those on top of that. Once you get on board, the only thing you'll pay for will be gratuities. It's automatically charged to you and whatever else you buy. for being here. If we had a little blip with our camera there, it's because we timed out. Um, but thank you for being here. Again, if I've missed your question, come back on Friday night, 5.45 Pacific time, 8.45 Eastern time for more Q&A. And Dynamo, yes, you can download our podcast on Andro Android. No problem. 
Um, Ethan, I'll keep your, your suggestion in mind for the podcast on cruising with groups. That's actually a great idea. Thank you for that very much. And thank you all so much for being here. Sorry about the camera dying, you guys. We'll see you Friday night. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Cruiser of the week! <laughs> Hey, click me to subscribe.